Taking the conversation forward, we have with us Arun Kumar, who's a former ambassador, live with us from Delhi. A very good morning, sir, and thank you for joining us. A very strategic day, of course. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has already left for Dhaka in Bangladesh. He's all set to land. A very important visit, two-day visit to Bangladesh. Sir, you've been a former ambassador. You understand the cultural ties countries hold with each other. If you could shed some light on the significance of this visit between India and Bangladesh, as India is celebrating 50 years of Bangladesh's liberations jointly. Sir, if you could hear me. The first question, sir, that I asked to you was the significance of this visit, sir. You've been a former ambassador. You know well about foreign policy and the relationships countries share with each other. India and Bangladesh have been neighbors and have been friendly neighbors always. Prime Minister Narendra Modi's visit to celebrate 50 years of Bangladesh's liberations. How do you see it? Uh, first of all, this is a re-emphasizing visit to re-emphasize the cultural, political, and economic bonds between India and Bangladesh. Most important is in the world of politics is the reassurance. Whatever you say, you have to keep on emphasizing that you have a goodwill towards the people of Bangladesh. This has to be physically exhibited. Now, what I mean by physically exhibited is that the Prime Minister, despite his heavy schedule in the country itself, with the elections going on and the, and the COVID on the rise, has taken off two days of his precious time and given to Bangladesh. This will convey the message in Bangladesh how serious uh, is the Prime Minister about the relationship between India and Bangladesh. This seriousness will be conveyed to the people of Bangladesh in real physical terms. By his going there and meeting the leaders, visiting the various spots and, and signing five MOUs will further solidify the relationship and the confidence between the people of India and Bangladesh. Of course, a very important, a very important point stated by you, how Prime Minister Narendra Modi, even amidst the COVID pandemic, has taken two days to visit Bangladesh, reaffirming the friendly and strategic partnership we have with Bangladesh. Another important question to you, sir, is that this visit is is going to be monitored and seen all around the world. Now, Sheikh Hasina, who's the leader of Bangladesh, did come to India in 2019 after Prime Minister Modi won his second term. Prime Minister Modi is going to be going to Bangladesh now, embarking on this visit, the first visit amidst this COVID pandemic. You just told us the significance of this visit. But, sir, what message does this send to the rest of the world? The rest of the world... Uh, was not very clear about the relationship between India and Bangladesh. They had doubts in their own mind whether this relationship is meaningful or not. But this, the present gesture of the Prime Minister had allied, uh, had all the cobwebs of, of despair and uh, negative uh, politics has been put to rest once and for all. They will now view India and Bangladesh as true friends and forget about the Chinese uh, incursion in Bangladesh with their deep pockets. Well, they can have deep pockets, but they don't have deep hearts.